Hi YouTube, a quick video on how to replace the battery in your car key remote. So you'll need your car key, a pack of batteries, and an eyeglass repair kit. So you're going to have a total of three screws. This is the first screw that we're going to use. The car dealership wanted to charge me $15, but I got this screwdriver from Dollar General, like I said, for $2. So you're going to remove that. Once you remove screw number one, you'll take that flathead screwdriver that came in your eyeglass repair kit, pop the key assembly apart, and then you'll begin removing screws number two and three. And so I'm going to dismantle my key here. And then I'll get that same tiny Phillips screwdriver and I will unscrew screw number two. And again, I always remember lefty loosey, righty tighty. So I'm going to unscrew it by turning to the left and remove screw number three as well. Make sure you keep up with your screws. The first one that you remove will be longer than the second and third screw. So once I have those screws removed, I'm going to split this apart and then this will expose my battery. The batteries I ordered from Amazon and I'll put the link below in the description box. But with the batteries, they just pop out just like a peel packet. No problem there at all. So once you pop out the battery, you are ready to replace your old battery with your new battery. Pay careful attention to what side the battery is on. As you can see on my battery, the plus sign is facing outward. And there's a little diagram here at the bottom. So I'm going to use my flathead screwdriver that came in my eyeglass repair kit to pop that battery out. And I will slide it out. And if you notice, the two sides are distinctly different. So again, just be mindful to put the plus, side, plus sign facing outward. So that's it. I'm going to replace my Energizer battery. And once I have it replaced, we are ready to reassemble our key. Got a red light there, so it appears to be working. And I'm going to start with short screw number one and add that back in. And once I tighten that to the right, I'm going to add short screw number two. Tighten it as well. Once I'm done with short screw number two, then I can complete the assembly of my key. And then I'll add the final long screw back to the key. And then we will be ready to go outside and test it. So I'm going to easily reassemble. And it only fits one way, so you don't have to worry about putting it in the wrong way. Once we're done here, that would have been $2 well spent. I even went to AutoZone and they didn't have a screwdriver that could fit this. So I went online, of course, and I decided to go get, again, an eyeglass repair kit. And it worked perfectly. So that screw fits fine. We're ready to go outside and test it. It's dark outside, so you'll be able to see the light um, fairly easily. So we'll test it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. Take care.